Some of you know that I'm a ham radio operator and I love dealing with anything radio frequency related. So I made this fun little project. It's a perimeter security alarm and it's something you can all use as well. It's all coming up next. So here's the device we're going to be talking about. I have it assembled here like this without a case so you can see what it does. First, there's a circuit board that I built and it's in a format called a pie hat, meaning it's meant to sit on top of a Raspberry Pi as I have in here. I have two different versions of this. I have one that runs on a Raspberry Pi 4 and a Raspberry Pi 3B+. The Raspberry Pi 4 is the latest version, so if you're going to make a new one, I'd probably use a Raspberry Pi 4. So you have to attach the Pi hat to the pins on the Raspberry Pi. These pins are called GPIO pins. After attaching, I have a switch here that I can attach to the board, it goes to the two pins on the Pi Hat board, as you see here. Now let's power this up and see what happens. When you hear the beep, it means it just booted and it will send a notification to the Braxme app or send you an email message if you configured it with an email. Now let me stop moving and you will see that the green light turns off when it doesn't detect motion. And anytime I move it detects it and the green light turns on. So I incorporated this into a program I wrote to set an alarm. To set the alarm, I just press the button until I hear the B pattern and the flashing red and green lights. Then the timer starts and it beeps every 10 seconds. And after you hear the third beep at 30 seconds, the alarm will set at 10 seconds later and the red light will be on. Then when it detects movement, the alarm will fire. This can auto reset so it can fire an alarm over and over. So how is the alarm sent? It sends a notification to the Braxme app if you have that installed on iOS or Android. Or it will send an email alert if you put an email in the setup. Now this can work anywhere. If you have portable lithium ion batteries or some sort of solar panel and some sort of Wi-Fi nearby. You can also set this to be in quiet mode so it doesn't have any beeps or signals that is obvious. This device can connect using a wired Ethernet or Wi-Fi. The first time you use it, you have to use the wired Ethernet so you can add the Wi-Fi settings. After that, it will auto-detect and use Wi-Fi if it's not plugged in. When testing this, it goes through wood, but the signal will be attenuated a little bit. So it can actually sense that there's someone behind a door. But with a solid core door, the distance will be limited to maybe three or four feet of detection. The microwave does not go through glass or metal though. Here's another attachment I made for it. So there's some audio feedback like an Amazon Echo. In actual use, the audio is not necessary and just added to the cost of building it. So I took it out. Here's the unit in a case that we made. We're revising the unit to make it a bit smaller. 
the original design had audio and so it had to be a little bit bigger to accommodate the speaker. Let me show you the programming side. This is where you set up the behavior of the app. You just set up a Braxme account and you use your Brax username here. And that's where you get your notifications. You can add an email so you can get notifications via email if you want. Here's where you put in your Wi-Fi information. Again, the first time you use it, you have to plug it into your Ethernet first. And on Brax.me, it will tell you the IP address to use. Here's where you have the options to be stealthy so you can turn off the beeps and the lights. And then there's the option to auto restart the device so you can always be running. And finally, a time range for when the alarm should be active. For example, you can have it running only during the time you leave for work. This setup requires no outside monitoring. It's completely free to run. And you can use it in conjunction with a camera so you can see what happened to trigger the alarm. Because this covers a large perimeter and it's basically omnidirectional, you can put it in the center of a house and have it cover all the windows and doors with just one device. Now I'm selling the spy hat and the software for just $59. Just get yourself a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus or Raspberry Pi 4 or maybe you already have one. Sorry I can only ship in the US but I can post the schematics so you can make it yourself and just buy my software. It's pretty hard to make, lots of manual soldering, so I'm basically giving it away since I made about 50 of these. I'll just sell what I have until it runs out. Or if a lot of people want it, then I'll make some more. I'll put the link to my site as far as where to get it. It's on rob.brax.me. I'll be making a different case for this for the future, but if you want the current case in the meantime, I can give it to you for free if you ask for it while I have it in stock. I hope you enjoy this fun little project. Perimeter security is different than just the camera because it is triggered by crossing a line in the sand, so to speak. A camera is often too busy with activity to show you if someone crossed your gate or is approaching your door or entered your house. In the future, I'd like to experiment with setting this up outdoors with a solar panel so I can have a remote sensor, but that's for the future. Please subscribe to this channel if my content is interesting to you. Lots more to come.